Hey guys, e-bike review day. Got a really nice one today. This is the Cannondale uh, Matera. It's the carbon version. This bike has uh, been given to me very uh, kindly to try courtesy of Van Dyke's Bikes in Bataru. So if you want to ride this bike, this specific one that I've ridden exceptionally carefully, um, you could actually do that. Uh, so what, what do we got on this thing? It's a mullet, um, 29, 27 and a half, carbon. It's got 170 travel with a set of uh, uh, Zeb selects up the front. Um, RockShock uh, 160 uh, Deluxe Select Plus coil, I think I've got that right, out the rear. It's got the 750 watt hour battery, the new Bosch smart system, got the, your controller on your handlebar here, quite a big Kiox uh, display up the top here, uh, XT drivetrain, um, it's a pretty cool looking bike, it's kind of a, it's almost like a matte black uh, with this, I love the old red coil, you could maybe add a little bit of uh, accents to it if you wanted to with some, uh, some grips and the pedals, Let, don't talk about the pedals, I... I forgot the pedals when I turned up to pick this thing up and I had to go and salvage some pedals. But anyway, so don't, don't talk about the pedals. Anyway, last video I think I made on a review, I said I was going to test it at Rotorua and I never got there, but this time I did. So anyway, let's head over to Rotorua and I'll show you what we got up to. Okay, so very first run on this thing, well the first run downhill. Um, I don't think the brakes are actually bedded in yet, but I guess we'll bed them in on the way down. We're in Rotorua today, uh, pretty much mint day actually. Um, this is called a track called Eastern Spice Grade 5. They always say you should warm up on a brand new bike on a Grade 5. Oh, that's all right. The suspension seems to handle it pretty well. I think that rattling noise has still got the dork disc on it, so it probably won't last very long. But yeah, every time I go over a drop, it makes a noise. I don't know why they're on bikes. Anyway, we're not re reviewing dork discs. This is a size large. Oh, might need to concentrate on this bit. Size large. I am having to concentrate. Whoa, that's a drop. It's got a 64 degree head angle, 476 reach. So for me, that's about right. People always ask after my reviews, how tall are you? So 176 and just progressively getting shorter. Wee. What does this do? Wee, should have been going faster for that. We should have gone faster for that, but anyway, we got there. Suspension soaked it up. I didn't know about that, that's new. And then I think this is kind of all right. Yep. All right, first run down. All right, little gap jump here. Secret is not to go off the corner, which I did before. Put a little bit more air in the fork. Um, and, uh, I did, so I took the dork disc off, which was a super mistake. Never tried doing that on the fly. Uh, got a couple of guys in between the three of us and got it jammed behind there. Anyway, we're not doing a video about dork discs. So we've decided to do another grade five. This one's called uh, Maiden Voyage. And this is actually built by um, the, um, whoops, that's bash the old motor a bit. Rotor a women's riding group. So this is kind of the level of a, Road to Rural Women Riders. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, went a bit faster than that. Can I double this? Oh, probably should have. What have we got here? Little jump. Woohoo! She's quite, whoa! The brakes are working good now. They bedded in some nice four pot SLXs. Kind of a good choice. I like that. What have we got here? A little drop. Our suspension's better. I think a bit more air in the fork's good. I might as well hit a bit of a wooden feature. I think there's a little jump here. Oh, whoa! Oh, I pulled up a bit on that much. That was alright. What else have we got here? Oh, I think this is another little, little drop. That's cool. Yeah, starting to get the flow going on this bike now. It's got a nice slack feeling, nice wide bars, nice and stable. It's a little wooden skinny, whoa, stay on it Lance. Oh, what do you reckon about this one? Woo, okay, that really is skinny. Now, one of the difficulties I have with reviews is to really test these bikes to their limits or my limits climbing. 
and the reason for that is that most especially like Rotorua all the trails are one way so the only way you could really test the climbing ability is to ride up a downhill track and I'm not going to do that in Rotorua it's just too busy a place to do that safely so um but saying that it's a really comfortable ride obviously it's got the the full juice I'm up in um, EMTB I pretty much ride that most of the time but like look at these you've got uphill berms right around the corner uh, it just feels absolutely awesome I must admit but to be honest that's pretty much like most e-bikes well full power full power e-bikes anyway uh, yeah Bosch smart system 750 watt hour battery so what are we at 85 newton meters all the usual stuff but you're just flying up here all right, well it didn't take me long to get really used to this bike. I, I was having a lot of fun uh, very quickly. A couple of quick things. One, if you ever try and take the dork disc off on the side of the trail, that is an exceptionally bad idea. I've done it before. I don't know why I thought it would be easier this one. The plastic is designed to be of no use to the bike, but really tough if you want to try and break it. Anyway, the other thing you may be thinking, Lance, when are you going to shave that mow off? You'd had it for November, it's now December, but it's still November while I'm filming this. Definitely going on the 1st of December. The bike, uh, 64 degree head angle, felt super stable actually, uh, just going over the choppy stuff, doing drops, jumps, uh, it, I felt really, really safe and secure, it felt super stable, I guess the weight is, um, the way the battery is configured is, is really down really low, uh, so yeah, the bike was we felt very comfortable, very stable, and I, as I built with my confidence, I started to do more and more jumps. In fact, do you want to see how I got on with um, with some of the jumps? So anyway, here's some jumps. Okay, this one's called Katori jumps, and I like to test bikes on this because they're quite, they're not huge jumps, but they're quite technical to get your timing right. So it's a good test of the suspension. So far, it's quite poppy. Let's see if we get some, oh, lots of height. Yep, that's it, we'll take that. That was actually really good for a first run. Okay, the first set print went pretty well, so let's try the second set. Uh, these are a little bit bigger and a bit faster. I usually like to follow someone in, but anyway, there's no one here. Woohoo! Oh, that's cool. Oh, I'll be happy enough with that. We'll take that. Who needs a sighter? Whew, that was good fun. If you're wondering where the elbow pads are, they're in my backpack up there somewhere. So I didn't need them this time. Actually, this might be a good little climbing test up here. If I come straight up here, and then go straight up and over, no problem at all. Yeah, not a big climb, but something. All right, we might as well finish off with the last section of Katori jumps. It's quite a chilled section. It's got a quite a cool one at the bottom you can really launch yourself on this one here you just go as long as you want Woohoo! all right well maybe uh, I should test this on something a bit more chill we've done grade fives and we've done jumps this is just a grade three called dragon's tail nice fun sort of flowy track I've had a really good day on this thing, I must admit. Uh, it, I probably wasn't instantaneously at home with it. I had to fiddle with it a little bit, but once I've been on it a little bit, yeah, the suspension's great, brakes are good, handling's good, feels nice and stable. And yeah, I must admit, sometimes when I've reviewed bikes uh, on those Katori jumps, I either haven't been able to get over them properly or I've been too scared to, but this thing, no, was super confident. <sighs> seems very forgiving if you just kind of make a mess of things nice little double here yeah just pops over no issues up the bank I mean she's not the lightest e-bike if you're looking for the you know a lightweight low power, low power small battery then this is definitely not what you want but as a full fat e-bike goes you know it's uh I imagine it's probably around 25 kgs I don't actually know I'd have to look the weight up but it feels about there but that's pretty standard for most of these bikes and uh yeah she handles great 
Okay, so my overall impressions of this bike is I really, really do like it. I think it looks cool. Um, it's slack, it's got lots of travel, it's a full power e-bike. That's kind of what I like. Um, and I was felt very confident riding it. Um, so what's the good, the bad and the ugly? Um, well, I don't really think there's any ugly on it, to be honest. Um, and I don't even know that there's any bad on it. There's a few asterisks though, and I'll run you through some of the things on the bike. One, it's got a big Keox display up on here, which is really cool in as much as you've got, if you like a big screen, it's easy for the, even my eyes to read without glasses. Um, it does look a bit vulnerable up here though. You can move it around, but wherever you move it, it still seems a little bit vulnerable to me. Um, so that's, yeah, you know, it may bother you, may not bother you. Um, the other thing that's interesting is this charging point here. Now you can just open it like that. It's a very secure charging point. On a lot of these bikes, they just have a little rubber thing that covers them and they get mud and dirt and things. So this has got a very, very solid cover. My only thing I would say is that if you're the sort of person who's a little bit lapsedaisical, um, and you leave it open, uh, your leg's going to smash that off. So you, you want to make sure before you get riding that you've definitely, definitely clicked and locked that into place. And I think if you're a careful, meticulous person, not a problem. And it's, uh, it, it feels solid. I don't think you could bash that with your leg. Another thing that I thought was quite cool is, um, I'll have to show you on this side, there's a little rubber... Um, uh, stop a thing over where you put the key in to take the battery out and I think that's a really sensible thing. My own bike, um, I must admit there's nothing there and I've just changed the lock me mechanism because it's all got filled up with mud and water and it's, and it's failed. So having something in to seal a point like that is a good thing as well. Uh, Got built-in mudguards, not a big deal. You can take them off if you don't like them. Um, they actually look kind of cool, and so I think they actually would do a pretty good job. But believe it or not, I actually haven't washed this since my ride in Rotorua. This is, this is how it came. So, um, and finally, I guess we did talk about um, uh, the fact that the battery comes down here, and I guess it creates the whole big pregnant e-bike look. Um, Personally, it doesn't bother me. If say, if you want a stealth looking e-bike that maybe people have to look twice at, this is definitely not one, but I'm the full fat e-bike, biggest battery you can stuff in there. And um, so to me, that doesn't bother me. But that may be something that you look, think, yeah, she's, she, she's fairly big and chunky down there. But a lot of e-bikes are like that. Overall, I think she looks pretty badass, to be honest. Um, I do kind of like the black. I always, you know, sometimes like bright colors, but I kind of like the black. And as I say, I think the, the red shock makes it stand out. And so it's a pretty cool bike. Uh, as I say, if you do want this specific one, you can buy it from uh, Van Dyke's in Pateru. Yes, there's more than just cows in Pateru. You can, apparently you can buy a bike there as well. Um, otherwise, of course, you can check out your own retailers. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video and uh, it's been helpful and you haven't subscribed, I'd really love it if you did that. Um, always appreciate, you know, thumbs up, like, and love hearing your comments and all that sort of thing. And anyway, we'll see you when we find the next bike.